All right, traders. Let's go ahead and do a back test here on the dollar yen. Let me get this thing over to September. All right, here we go. Okay, so it looks like my first trade will be right here. Short at 110.19. Guys, I want to add in the ATR here. I want to start looking at that a little bit more. Sorry, it's taking a little while to load here. Okay, so if I'm, I'm in here at 18. My stop's going to be 38. So I get stopped out there. First trade's a stop. Now this is one I wouldn't have any reason to not take these trades. Okay, so I'll be back in here at 38. And target hit. Here's the one where you have the 200 period on the weekly that lines up with the zone on the date on the hourly. That wouldn't have worked out, but that's not a trade I'm doing right now. Look how it plays out of these zones. There's got to be a way to take advantage of some of these. Okay, I do have a zone. I, I do have a sell zone here in, inside of a, da a uh, daily sell zone. So I'd be short here at 39. Uh, here's an example. Let's go back and take a look at this one. If we're using the ATR, actually, I guess I'd be use, use, doing about the same, right? So I'd be looking at 18. You can see the ATR right there is 17. I'd round, you know, 17.7. I'd round that up. So 39. So I'd still be in it. It only goes against me 12. 18 times 5 is 90. And guys, that's enough right there to be able to get my target, which is interesting. So if I were using the ATR, I'd have my target as it stands. See what happens here? It trades into the, the 10 period MA on the daily and then goes against me. So I end up with two losses there. Okay, now this is trading directly at the top of a daily sell zone. So that last trade, I'm, in, I'm not going to say we could have avoided those. But trading into that 10 period moving average, I'd want to think about having a different target. Now this one right here, I can avoid if it ends up being a loser. So 87 to 67 is a loss. Yeah, two losses. So I can avoid those two. Can I have a zone inside the zone right there? Two more losses. So 
Same with this one. Now, let's see. Nope, nothing I could do to avoid that one. Actually, wait a second. Hold on. I'd actually be trading off the L24, I think. 68.9, 66.7. So that give me 60, 68 to 88, 88 to 08. Let's see what that does. Still gets me. Okay, so I still have the losses. Okay, now this one's trading directly into the 10 period right here. So I'd have two losses here, but I could avoid both of those. 10 period on the daily. Okay, this this one right here, I would also be one I would I wouldn't take because of the 10 period on the daily, but I'd be in here at 72 to 92. There's two losses. Could avoid both of those. Okay, I had an L24 here, but price never comes back to it. And here's another one that's trading or actually through the 10 period on this one. So this is not this is one I would I would definitely take. So 31 to 51. I'd be back in at 51. And it looks like it's ended up being a loss. So let's go back and look at this one using the ATR. 16. So if I in here, so 31 minus 16 would be 46. So, so 31 to 47. And then 47, let's see, 57, 63. Okay, hold on one second. It's Friday, guys. I don't feel like doing math. So 16 times 5 is 80. So if I'm, if I'm in here at 47... So let's see, 47, so 67. Gosh, that's a, that'd be a, that's a second one right there, guys. It'd be enough to get my one my five to one target using the ATR. Okay, this is gonna. I'm really excited to, do, to start doing this back test for the for that for this reason. Okay, this one right here, you can also see what. Look at the weekly right here, guys. It trades right into the the 10 period on the weekly. So again, I would take this trade. I just have to adjust my target. But there's two more losses. And I'm not going to mention, I'm not going to put those as ones I could avoid. Okay, I have an L24 right here, two losses. I have an L24 right here, 32, target hit right there, okay, I have another one, let's see, actually, never mind, no, I wouldn't, 67, darn, never mind. Okay, I'd have one right here. Entry be 41 to 61. Re-enter at 61. To 81. 
Two more losses. Okay, here's an L24 inside of a, uh, inside of a buy zone. This is one I would not take. It's trading right into the 10 period on the, on the daily. And here at 92, there's two losses. Both those could be avoided. Okay, so you got your L24 right here. Fifty two stopped out on both of those. Now, again, this is one that's trading into a, a daily buy zone, and it's only fifty pips away. So, this is one that I could have avoided both of those. Okay, this is one this one is right at the top of a daily sell zone. So let's see what happens here. And trading into a weekly sell zone as well. 67, there's two losses. Could definitely avoid both of those. And guys, this is why it's going to take some back testing on this strategy. If you look at this one as well, you're trading, you have a zone inside of a zone, but you're trading right into the 10 period on the daily. So your entry would be right here at 19, and you got two losses. You could avoid both of them easily. There's a choppy pair. Okay, I've got a sell zone right here inside of a weekly sell zone. And this one, let's see, looks pretty good. My daily 10 period is all the way down here. So I'm at 49. Never stopped out there. Okay, but then I get stopped out right there, 49 to 69, there's a stop. Re-enter at 69. And target right there. Okay, here's another sell zone inside the weekly sell zone. Let's see if I get an entry here at 39. Okay, there's your entry. Also, oh, now you got an L24. So my entry is going to be 40. I am, let's see how many ticks away from the. About 60 ticks away. See what happens. Forty. No target yet. Still be in it. You see, you'd be touching, you'd be hitting in, hit, running into the daily buy zone, and a weekly ten period. So, okay, let's tally it up. Twenty-eight. Losses and three wins. So, 28 times 20. So this is the worst performing one so far out of all the ones that I've done. So I'd be down 260 pips on this pair. Now I could avoid 14 trades, 14 losses, which put me at 14 losses and three wins. 
which turns that into a 20 pip winner. So, and also in addition, if you if we look at the ATR, we would have had at least two extra winners. So, guys, I'm going to try this weekend to go ahead and get this little platform set up to where we can start building out our back test for this specific strategy. All right, gang, I hope you all have a great New Year's, and I'll catch you all next week.